floods, earthquakes, still surviving, fight. Even after numerous genocides and plunders, for a thousand years by oppressors and intruders, yet here we are, still thriving. We never stopped fighting back. Submission was never an option. Courage and valor never went out of stock. Never took defeat as the end. And hence, we are still here. Even after all the onslaughts, we still preserve the fire of our ancestors. We haven't forgotten our Pitrus and Devatas. And so with their blessings, we are still here. Millenniums are just numbers. We wear the same dress, eat the same food, worship the same gods, chant the same hymns as our forebears. They say time has changed. But we are the ones who got away from it because we are still here. Make no mistake, there are many who want us destroyed. Some are clothed in white, some in green, some in red, and some in black. Some from the outside, some from even within. Like maggots, they're waiting for the mighty oak of dharma to fail and fall. They're jealous, shocked and furious because we're still here. This is no time to rest, no time to relax. There are battles to be fought and wars to be won. We are beings of the heavens, born of Mother Earth and bearers of the sacred fire. We bow to no one other than Dharma. We worship Shiva, Vishnu and Devi Ma. A thousand other civilizations crumbled all around us. Yet, we we'll still be here. Just like how we are, and how we work. Let's be confident, not arrogant. Humble, not meek. Brave, not bellicose. Dharmic, not secular. Let's play by our own rules. Create our own boundaries. Make our own wealth and produce our own prosperity. Let's be unabashedly Hindu.